So rapid fire questions, favorite book that you've gifted to someone else? East of Eden, I just like John Steinbeck and Stories of America from that era. Gosh, I haven't actually, is it like a fiction book? It is fiction. It's a great work of American literature, man. No, <laughs> <laughs> I only know Canadian, sorry. <laughs> gotcha. Um, and then, what's a piece of wisdom? Now that, I tend to give a lot of people my book. To your book, yes. To yeah. world, I've given people. a lot of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's a piece of wisdom that you've learned throughout your career that you really could have used in your 20s? You know, I wish I'd had a little more uh, self-love <laughs> or like self-compassion because when things weren't going right, I was always really uh, beating myself up and being like, oh man, like, you know. Um, and now looking back, if I could just go back to my younger self and say, everything's going to be all right and like things are going to work out okay and, you know, like you're going to uh, like get married and have kids and run for president and all that stuff. <laughs> like that, that'd be great to be able to share yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I should have enjoyed the journey a little bit more when I was a bit younger. Hmm. Were you always like a workaholic, kind of always, always on? Well, I just had a, I had a bunch of goals that I took a little bit too seriously and that I was always uh, thinking, how can I make progress towards certain goals? And some of those goals were personal, things like own a dog or whatnot, you know? Sure. Um, so it's not like I was just like, oh, ooh, I have to like, like maximize I really need this dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but... I, I certainly could have enjoyed the ride a little bit more. Yeah, that's actually a common thing that I hear all the time from really successful people is just to like breathe, like relax. So everything's going to be okay at the end of the day. Yeah, everything is going to be okay. And uh, particularly on a personal front where now, you know, I met my wife when I was 31 and uh, now we've got two beautiful kids. And um, yeah, and, and that was like a source of real pressure and anxiety uh, before, but now you know, looking back on the women that I was like trying to make things work with in contrast to my wife, it was like, sure. oh man, <laughs> like I should have just waited for her. Oh yeah. Yeah.